New Zealand's Northland, shrouded in tradition, mystery, and pioneering life. I'm going to be riding the bike and presenting most of the time. And I'm behind the cameras filming, bringing the Northland to you. OneWheelDrive.net and Curbside are proud to take you with us on this adventure spanning Northland's rich history, sights, and people. Pumapuri is where the legendary Polynesian navigator and explorer Kupe is said to have landed around 925 AD after his journey of discovery from Hawaii aboard the waka or canoe named Matahurua. Behind me you can see the dunes. You can take a boat, comes from this pier on the hour, every hour from 10 o'clock, takes you over, you can do sand walks or sandboarding, all that sort of stuff. And it's just a really nice harbor. It's nice and calm. It's quite a current going out right now, and there's a big break, big uh, break on the point there, so it's quite common here pretty much year round, I guess, unless the wind really funnels through. Yesterday was a full on rush. So today, we're backtracking State Highway 12 and really going to take everything in we can. We'll visit Tronson Park, Bailey's Beach, and the largest cowrie tree in New Zealand, Tane Mahuda. As Bill, our guide from last night, stated, Tane Mahuda is the lord of the forest, the largest cowrie tree discovered in New Zealand. That doesn't mean there isn't some monster undiscovered out there somewhere, though. Behind me here you can see Tane Mahuda, which is New Zealand's largest cowrie tree. It's believed to be 2,000 years old and it's a monster. Absolute monster. And it's uh, Tane Mahuda is, I don't know, I'll read the sign and do narration, but it's sort of dubbed the Lord of the Forest because it dwarfs anything around. So we're across the road from Tane Mahuda now, and there's a little picnic area. And lucky for me, there was a small coffee and uh, fried goods, sort of like bacon and eggs, stuff like that, kiosk. Now it's just a short jaunt to the Tronson Park Walk, which should give us a more in-depth look at the Cowrie Forest. We're in the center of Tronson Park now, doing the 40-minute Cowrie Walk loop. Uh, Tronson Park's a protected area. It's a... Oh, it's a rainforest, it's a tropical rainforest filled with cowrie trees, and cowrie trees are very important. They're indigenous to New Zealand, and the local Maori people use them well before anybody else, and the New Zealanders logged them, made houses. It's, it's a really good wood, and I mean, early New Zealand was founded upon the cowrie tree in one shape, form, or another. It doesn't matter whether you agree with it or not, that's the way it is. So this is a protected area we're going to walk through. It's, um, yeah, it's quite neat. Nice ride to get here, nice windy bits. Now you're all alone, middle of nowhere, all you hear is birds. It's actually a bird right behind you just sitting there, staring at us. There's some birds squawking over there. I think it's a tui. Sort of making a chortle. Trouncin Park is a 450 hectare forest reserve and home to the very elusive North Island Brown Kiwi. It's almost like a step back in time, showing what the Northland may have looked like over a hundred years ago. The walk is a good way to unwind and get a bit of exercise. Once we're done that, we head south to Bailey's Beach, then take in some west coast views.
looking out of the west coast is an odd feeling. The Tasman Sea is rough and somewhat uninviting, and the next landmass would be Australia. Maybe that will be our next major ride. Who knows? Bailey's Beach and travel back up State Highway 12 to the Kaiwi Lakes. We'll be staying with our cousins Nolan Ruby Martin at their lodge. Northland roads are typically pretty empty, and it's more likely that a traffic jam looks like this than bumper to bumper cars. Get on, little doggy. Over. It's just it's a really neat spot to unwind, relax. Nice. Very good host. So. Noel and Ruby have just come back from a giant motorcycle adventure spanning the US, Canada, and Europe. There were four of them in total on two Victory Visions. Hearing their stories and seeing their maps, photos is an inspiration to do something larger. Makes me think about Joe staring over the Tasman earlier. The garden gnomes had a meeting and found out it was really old red hat that was stealing from the garden gnome tribe, so they knifed him. So we're here at uh, Kaiwi Lakes, which is two lakes or three lakes? It's a couple lakes up in the north of the Northland. <laughs> the north of the Northland, the north of the North of the North Island. Anyway, there's a bunch of lakes up here. It's quite nice. Pristine, kind of, I don't know why they're here, because there isn't really any mountains, but the lakes are pretty nice. Looks like you could go boating or skiing or swimming in here, and it's pretty nice. Follow us on a three-month motorcycle adventure around Australia. Joe rides the bike. While Flora is our principal camera operator. It's the two of us as travelers and film crew. This is Australia, inside out. 